I would like to throw on the table four new ways to measure the success of zero waste in New York City. Reuse index. Let's measure how much of a household's consumption is used items versus new. What percentage of everything that you use is new? Did you buy new and what percentage is reused? And can you get that reuse number up? Or product longevity index. I know that sounds like a big term, but how long does a typical basket full of products last? That when you buy it in the store, how long does it last here in New York versus other cities? Are we talking six months here? Are we talking six weeks? Are we talking five days? Can we buy things that are more durable? That are that that, that can be repaired and get them repaired. A sharing index, what percent of products used in a household in a year are not owned, but are they shared amongst the community? And a connectedness index, New Yorkers are notorious for not knowing their neighbors. <coughs> when you have a leftover pooling party and you invite everybody in, they're all happy to be invited. <coughs> okay, I, I, I've been there, okay? So what percent of our neighbors do we interact with each over the course of a month? Would that be a good way to measure quality of life? In New York City, we have two different kinds of pledges that you can take. You can go to New York City Zero Waste and they'll send you a orange zero waste nylon bag if you take a pledge to go zero waste. And you can also take a pledge to bring your own and it's kind of fun to get involved with the pledge and, and, and then they send you little bags and stuff so you feel good about being able to reuse.